Women typically feel they have to have the right time in their life to pursue um, uh, an elected office. And I tell people, you, there's never going to be a perfect time. So don't even think about it. Just jump right on in. Do not wait for the perfect time because it's not going to be there. The other issue is women tend to need to be recruited to run for office. So anytime I give a talk, even if it's to second graders, a ladies group, or a co-ed class, I tell the women, this is your recruitment. I am recruiting you right now, today, to run, whether it's for the city council, school board, uh, county commissioner, state house, senate, the, the president of the United States. We need more women in elected office, and we need young women in elected office. I think people really do bring their experiences to the table, and you know, women make up over 50% of the population, and yet we are so underrepresented. I think it looks very good. Uh, and in particular, here at the Kennedy School and at Harvard, I have really been um, excited about the, the number of young people that really want to go into public service. They want to run for office, or they want to do policy work, or they want to go into the, uh, the, the NGOs, the, the, pro the nonprofits. It's really exciting from my perspective. But we do need women. As I said, women bring a different perspective. And if you look at research, boards, committees that have more women, uh, they actually have a better end product at the end of the day. My study group is Money and Politics, the New Norm After Citizens United. I think a lot of people know that Citizens United is the Supreme Court decision that has opened up the floodgates of, of what I call dark secret money. You cannot turn on the TV in a swing state without being inundated by uh, political TV commercials prior to an election. It is, I think, disgusting. Um, and so I want to share with the students what this means, how we can hopefully change the law ultimately. Uh, but now that it is the law, we got to play this game and we've got to understand the distinctions uh, between how somebody actually wins an office and raising money has a lot to do with it. But, you know, it's, it's, uh, it's an exciting uh, business. Uh, when I did my campaign for two years, uh, we had the most expensive U.S. Senate race in history. So it is a big business for two years. You're sm starting a business and it's ending. Uh, and uh, there are a lot of things that people can learn by actually participating in this study group. So I really encourage everybody and anybody to come and join us. It's on Wednesdays from 4 to 5.30 at the Institute of Politics.